Hey guys! So today is going to be my long-awaited self-tanning video. Um, I've been getting tons of questions lately on how I keep my tan going. I can tell you that however dark I look to you on camera, I look 10 times darker than that <laughs> in person. I don't know why, just, you know, camera lights kind of just make you a lot whiter on camera. But I'm glad I'm still coming off tan. I have naturally, like, the lightest color that I get is very tan to some people. When people say, oh my god, you look so tan, I'm just like, what are you talking about? I'm a Florida girl, I've lived in Florida my entire life, so just being around tan people is something that um, is normal to me. I've been using the Million Dollar Tan Tan Icon in Extreme. It just looks like this. This is the smaller bottle. This is the four ounce bottle. They do have an eight ounce. So it comes with this little brush and that's what makes it so easy. I am gonna be showing you guys how I apply it and whatnot, um, but I just wanted to talk to you really quickly about it. Um, it's really good. It's a spray form like this. It smells really good. It doesn't smell like gross like a self tanner and it doesn't have that after self tanning scent. Like if you self tan you know that smell that I'm talking about. It's not the best smell in the world so this doesn't have that. It has kind of like a coconutty smell. Yeah, coconut. I don't really like coconut. <clears throat> But I do love this self tanner. I've used it probably four or five times and the bottle is still to here. So just because it's a little bottle, don't think that you're not going to get your money's worth. So before you tan, you want to make sure you take a shower, shave, exfoliate, all that good stuff so that your skin is nice and prepared because you don't really want to do your self tanner and then have to get in the shower the next day and shave your legs because you're just going to be shaving off some of your color. All you do is just spray it on if you want, um, but my method is I spray it onto the brush and then apply it to myself. I just find that it's less messy that way because when you are spraying this around, it is a mist, so the mist is setting, it's gotta land on something. So your color will develop within six to eight hours. It does have a color guard, so you do see where your color is going, which is great. I don't like using self tanners that don't have a color guard because if you're just taking a white lotion and kind of rubbing it all over yourself, you're kind of like, well, I hope this turns out good. I definitely need a self tanner that has a color guard in it. It fades better than any self tanner that I've ever used. It fades so natural. I don't get weird, like, patchy marks. Like, if you've ever self tanned, you know what I'm talking about. Like, you can kind of start to see, like, your tan peel away. Well, I don't know. Maybe that's just my skin. After your tan is developed and you wash your color guard off and everything like that, you want to make sure that you keep your skin nice and moisturized because the more, the more moisturized your skin is, the longer your tan is actually going to last you. I think that's all that I want to say about this self tanner. It's bomb in a bottle. Bomb in a bottle. And it gives you this nice bronze situation. I don't know how tan I look um, to you guys, but in real life, I'm really tan. <laughs> so that is all that I want to say. We're going to jump into the tutorial part of this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. So until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! So this is, again, what I use is the Million Dollar Tan Icon in Extreme, which is the darkest dark that you can get. Um, and then I apply it with just the blending brush that it comes with. These are really great to use for self-tanning if you've never used one of these, especially if you're using a spray form. It makes stuff so much easier. I skip the gloves when I'm doing this self-tanner because I am using the blending brush, so I want to get down around these areas that usually are a little hard to work with when you do use a self-tanner. If you've ever used a self-tanner, you know what I'm talking about it kind of just you know looks you have like a really harsh like demarcation line there so with the blending brush it makes it a lot easier so I'm just gonna be showing you on my arm kind of just spray the product right into the brush kind of saturating it like that and then I'll just start working this color on my arm And if you feel like you are looking, it's looking a little heavy on your arm, like, don't worry. This is just a color guard. So as long as you pretty much blend out all the harsh areas, some color will wash away in the shower. So I just go around my arm making sure that I'm getting all the areas. When you get to my elbow, I kind of just work it around.
And then like if you can see like if you get like you can see the lines where you're like tanning soft tanner is you can just like mash the blending brush against it and it kind of like blends out those harsh lines hence the blending brush so again these are the two arms next to each other this is the one that I just did and this is the one that hasn't been done now this is just your color guard that you put on so that you could see where your color was going. Your color will be much, much darker than this. Your tan will develop within the next six to eight hours, so try not to do anything crazy that's gonna involve sweating, like running, exercising, showering, swimming in a pool, anything like that.